much more chillier day during the day today. You definitely needed some sleeves out there, especially in places like Jackson, where right now we're at 40 degrees. As a cold front passed through overnight last night, and has dropped many of our high temperatures by about 20 degrees into today. And much of the moisture is carried along with it well out to our east side, which is good. You see most of it passing off just east of Pinedale, waking off, working off into the rest of Wyoming, just leaving us a little bit of some trails and some drizzles, leaving into Idaho Falls and Rexburg. But there's more to come. There's another cold front bringing up forth a lot of moisture behind us, which we'll get to in a second here. For you. Here's satellite and radar for you. There's that first cold front that went on through, but where that comes on through, another one right behind it. And that's not even the worst worry is the temperature cool down. The worst worry is probably going to be this huge amount of moisture coming on shore, which is right now going to directly affect Northern California, which is great for the fires and everything, but it's going to provide a lot of flooding to Northern California in particular, and it's going to spread over to Eastern Idaho and Western Wyoming as well in the next couple of hours. You see how quickly this is moving farther off to the east. Is this involved with the bomb cyclone? That what uh, other meteorologists have called it. Low pressure center just circulating off into uh, just off the coast of Seattle and Washington for you. Delivering lots, basically driven, driving a highway straight from the Pacific Ocean and crashing forth a lot of rainfall straight onto the Pacific Northwest. And it's going to continue to ramp right on into our area coming soon. So let's get into our Vipercast here for you moving forward with it. Mostly isolated showers, combination of behind the last cold front and in front of the next one moving through is what we're expecting throughout the night tonight. You see maybe just a little bit of a patchy snow shower into Stanley in the overnight hours with a light rain shower just north of Burley possibly. And then again, this is just the appetizer in front of the main front that's coming through starting probably midday tomorrow. So at least you'll have the morning hours to enjoy before that happens. A lot more creeps over further east, and this is going to be definitely a storm that starts uh, tomorrow afternoon for the valley, starting around noon time for central Idaho and can get some boy, very heavy snow up there with especially how long the system is going to last into the area overnight to Sunday. We're still sticking out rain in the plains as well as continuous snow still for you in central Idaho. Moving into the bulk of Monday, see a lot of the showers still present. Heavy rain showers for you in the valleys. Midday Monday, you see this is a full 24 hours of sticking with consistent rainfall and consistent snowfall for central Idaho. And then we get into the evening hours. This is where cause for concern can be for heavy snow showers for western Wyoming. Jackson drags into Soda Springs in the southeastern part of the state as well. As we get into the overnight hours, Monday to Tuesday, finally things start to die off, but it's going to be isolated showers still lingering behind, continuing into your day on Tuesday for you. So we have some winter alerts for you. Winter storm warning in effect until Monday for noon for most of central Idaho. This includes Stanley around just south of Salmon and Lehigh County there, uh, continuing down also into Arco with lots of accumulations building up. How much are we expecting by the end of this? Well, possibly a feet a foot to two feet of snow in central Idaho, maybe even along to a half a foot in western Wyoming in the southeastern part of the state for you. And that's excluding a lot of rainfall for the valleys as well, expecting an inch to three inches for you there moving forward ahead, continuing on the rest of the day. We're actually going to continue off into the eight day forecast here for you. Blackfoot 54 tomorrow. Highs in the mid 50s the next two days and then that slight cold front actually going to come through again when the slight cool down heading for you on Tuesday with a high of 47 for you there. Leading forth though by the end of the week to the mid 50s for us on Friday. Then Rexburg highs of the mid 50s the next two days leading down to 47 on Tuesday. 90% chance of rain for you on Monday. But again mostly rain for the valleys is what we're expecting over the next two days. Salmon rain is mainly just present for you on Monday. 20% chance of rain left for you on Tuesday and 30 left on Wednesday with highs around 52 in the middle of the week. Jackson, this is where you get the mix of snow and rain, mainly probably uh, snow in the early morning to evening hours, but rain during the day for you. Highs around the low 40s for Tuesday and Wednesday after a high of 49 for you tomorrow. Finally, Pook, or, well, we got still got a high of false left, but uh, Pocatello 54 tomorrow leading up to 56 on Monday. 
with 70 and 90 percent chances of rain over the next two days. It's going to be yucky out there. 90 percent chance of rain uh, for you on Monday, Friday, Ohio Falls, leading down to high of 47 on Tuesday. But sunshine, beautiful for next weekend. Unfortunately, not going to be present for the rest of this weekend. Well, so. you know, I can't complain about Monday. I have that day off. I can hey. just stay inside and read a book all day. I always say rain, can, uh, at least for me, rain is the best sleep medicine. Uh, yeah. So, it's nice and soothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, coming up, the